Hello everyone, I wanted to show you today how to install the DayZ mod for Arma 2. Uh, DayZ is the very recently popular mod. Well, it wasn't made recently, but it's become very popular and it is the survival zombies mod for the Arma 2 uh, military simulation shooter game. So this is how to do it on Steam. So if you go onto Steam, now I bought two extra little packs that like give you some kind of enhanced graphics and such. You can read about that. But uh, what you want to look for is the combined operations. So uh, let's see. Let's look here. <clears throat> it should probably be on the popular thing. Yeah. See. So combined operations. Uh, birth date. <clears throat> yes. So. Arma 2 Combined Operations includes Arma 2 and Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. You need that for the DayZ mod to play. That's 30 bucks, so that's pretty good. And the uh, Operation Arrowhead, yes, Combined Operations. So anyways, when you, do you buy that, okay, you'll get Arma 2 here and you'll get Operation Arrowhead. Now, after they download, you want to play Arma 2. Let that run. It'll like do some installing of direct decks and stuff like that. You need to run it. You see the main menu on the game back that out back out of that I mean <laughs> go to armor 2 uh, operation arrowhead then run that let it do the same thing it'll like you know install the game and then when you see the main menu then back out of that then what you want to do is you want to go to this URL here 6-updater.net <clears throat> and from here well on their main page that's not it that is an ad but you want to download this six updater this is the easiest way to install the daisy mod it does it for you and you can also use it to uh, browse the servers that you'll join so you can see here i've got it six updater there but you run six launcher it's just called the six uh updater suite or maybe it's the six launcher suite like six updater suite anyways when you run it it'll look like this and this button here for you will say install and, and see how it says daisy here this program lets you install all kinds of mods that people make for it. I really don't know much about them. All I know is that DayZ was, you know, this popular one. It's pretty cool. And uh, so that's what I did. And I think it popped up right when I ran the program. So anyways, you'll hit install. Down here it'll show that it's downloading. It's about 16 megabytes, I think, the mod is. It'll download it, and it says verify every time you run it. I think it just checks for updates. See, it just did something there. Okay. So that's all you really got to do, and then you use this, and you click on a server, and you hit, you know, launch, and it runs the right um, version, you know, it runs the right program to join DayZ. Uh, there are a few settings, like uh, force enable beta patch, update beta patch. I don't know a whole lot about that right now. I've been a little confused with all of this, but I have been able to play. Um, basically, I don't even use this program now. I just use it to install DayZ. And if you watch my next video, I'll show you the program I do use, DayZ Commander, and I'll explain why it's better than using uh, the 6 launcher. Uh, there's several reasons, and uh, I'll just go into it in the next video. But this will get it installed for you, and, um, and you can... Mm, cell phone noises. <laughs> so you can launch it from steam it runs it through steam anyways because you have it running but uh if you if you click play game on there you'll see that oh it did not uh, I, I see and i get this error all the time too daisy still works just fine i don't even know what's going on with that anyways if you were to double click on that that's what i meant to do you'll see here it's like arma 2 operation arrowhead or arma 2 combined operations i really don't know the difference of why one runs the other but when i run one I get an error when I run the other, I don't. So, needless to say, what I'm getting at is that it seems a little more complicated. I don't know. I uninstalled and installed the game a few times. Hopefully, if you follow <laughs> these directions, you'll have better luck. Um, you know, just install it through Steam, run Arma 2 first, then run Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead, close them out, download and install the 6 updater suite, run the 6 launcher, hit install, let it download. It'll install, verify, and you should be good. You could probably click on one of these and launch it, you know, find one with a low ping. But yeah, click on uh, the annotation right here in the middle, though, to see the next video where I explain the Daisy Commander app and why I think it's better than Six Launcher and how I was able to actually join up with James and play in the end using it, even though that was also a big complicated mess. 
Okay, hopefully this wasn't too confusing, but thanks for watching. Uh, hit that thumbs up, like button if you got it running. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.